Okay, the last type of voting um, method that we're going to talk about here is called approval voting. This one, unlike the other methods that we've talked about so far, does not use the preference ballot. So it's not like we're ranking everybody. All that we're saying is, would you be okay if Adams won? Yes or no. Would you be okay if Barnes won? Yes or no. Would you be okay if Collins won? Yes or no. Um, Obviously, if you vote for everyone, that doesn't do you any good because you're not making any differentiation. And similarly, Sally here voting for no one isn't, her, we could leave her vote out completely and it wouldn't make any difference because all that we're going to do is we're going to count up the, the ballots for each different candidate and see. So in this case, Adams, Richard, Thomas, Uma, Vera, Yvette, and Zoe all thought that Adams would be an okay, um, an okay candidate and they would be happy enough if they were president or whatever it is that we're voting for here. So in this case, that's one, two, three, four, five, six votes um, that would approve Adams as a, as a winner. Um, Barnes, in this case, would on, was only approved by Thomas, Vera, and Walter, so he only had three approval votes. Collins um, was approved by Richard, Vera, Walter, and Yvette, so that would give you four approval votes. And then your winner is, in this case, is Adams as we walk out has six approvals from the voters, and that's the most out of anybody, so that's going to be the person that wins. Um, in a lot of other cases, what we have is a situation that's more like this, and that is we don't have an individual list of each voter, but what we have instead is um, how many votes worked that way. So, for example, here we had some ballots that were just blue, some ballots that liked blue and yellow, some ballots that liked just yellow, some ballots that liked red and yellow, and then some ballots that liked only red. And so when we go to calculate the approval ballots for each of these, what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, we, we need, what we need to do is make sure we take the number of votes into account. So just don't count the number of X's, but actually count how many voters were coinciding with that. So in this case, this blue had 60 voters associated with it. So there's 60 approval votes that came in for blue only. When we get to the next ballot here, which is represented by this light blue, there were 120 voters. Um, so 120 approval votes for blue as well as 120 approval votes for yellow. So we're going to have to add 120 here to blue's count. And then we also need to give 120 to yellow. So those 120 votes actually ended up in two different categories, and that's totally fine. It's just the way the system works. Um, the next one had 30 voters that voted. Um, we look at their approval X. They voted for only yellow, so we're going to add 30 here into the yellow category. Um, then we had 60 voters that approved of both red and yellow, so we're going to add 60 more to the yellow category. And then we're going to come down here to red, and we get 60 approval votes for the red. And then at the very end, there were 90 voters in this last category. Um, they approved of only red, so we're going to add those 90 votes only to the red category. And at this point, real simple, in order to calculate, just add them all up, 180 votes of approval for blue. There were um, 210 approval votes for yellow, and there were 150 approval votes for red. So in this case, yellow is the grand winner. So um, really, again, it's just a matter of counting up the X's. The only thing to be careful of is if it is a tallied vote. And if it is, you've got to take the, the how many voters there were into consideration when you place each um, count into your group. So with that, uh, just a couple short problems in the book for your homework, uh, where you are actually asked to look at these approval ballots and then decide who the winner would be. Um, fairly straightforward, but again, as always, if you have any questions, pop them up on the discussion board and we'll help you out.